Hi, this is Bill Hader from Saturday Night Live. Uh, you were listening to the sounds of Young America, uh, an independent production supported by listeners. So if you're interested, please donate to MaximumFun.org. I'm Jesse Thorne, America's radio sweetheart, and this is the Sound of Young America from MaximumFun.org. Welcome to the Sound of Young America from MaximumFun.org. I'm Jesse Thorne. This week, our podcast's theme is This American Life. We heard from Julie Snyder, the senior producer of that popular public radio program earlier in the week. Now, let's take a listen to some comedy on the theme from the sketch comedy group Clifford and Kid, singer-songwriter Jonathan Colton, and coming up in just a moment... Comedienne Maria Bamford from her brand new CD, which is called How to Win. I've been traveling a little. I've been in Australia. You know what? Our, our, our people are not liked uh, worldwide, it turns out. Uh, oh, my God. They do not like us in other countries now. Australian people are very, very nice, laid-back uh, people because they're happy. And uh, it's sunny and stuff like that. And they are mad because sometimes our people, our people, are perceived as being irritating and dumb. Uh, but we're not. We're loud and charming. Uh... Uh, I didn't want to come off as like an ugly American and you know, be like, excuse me, top of the morning to your good day or whatever you guys say. Um, where are your koalas and kangaroos and stuff? Uh-huh. How about your abergiganol people? Is there like a bus to see that or something? No worries. <laughs> you know what? I am kind of worried. Okay. Okay, that's silly. Uh, so, um... Uh, like, I asked a crowd of people, and I was like, so, uh, has anyone been to the States? And, um, uh, so I said, uh, yeah, I hated it. <laughs> what, what did you hate about the United States? What, what did you hate about it? I hated all the food. Like, all the food? <laughs> uh, what about foods that's the same that's like a hamburger? Like, would you hate that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What, okay, what if... It was an Australian kind of food, but it was made by an Australian, but you were eating it in the United States. How would you like it then? You hate it then? Yeah. I think a lot of people are lashing out at our food, uh, rather than at our government. And, um, I, uh, no, I, am I, I, uh, I know it's easy to lash out at people about their nationality, uh, without knowing them, because that's what America's all about. And, uh... So I can appreciate that. No, I, uh, I don't know. I love my country. Maybe that's because I'm white and rich. Uh, but things have been working out for me. Oh, I'm not technically rich. But I do have a lot of ish that I don't need that I refuse to share with others. And that feels pretty solid. All right. That was good, huh? Like most Americans, I would like to help others while being televised. Uh, I, I like to go to an area of the world where they really need my help. And I'm like, we're here in sub-Saharan Africa because people sometimes have to walk tens of hundreds of miles for food, water, and basic medical care. And that's why we've chosen this village for an extreme makeover. <laughs> Tell me, Mobutu, how does life feel as a blonde? Well, my husband didn't even recognize me. And now when I go to the aid truck and fight other women for flour, I feel more confident. We took the freeway out of town. We found a place to settle down. We bought a driveway and a swing set and a dog. Sit around staring at the wall, the wall, take 
downstairs with the shop vac. You can call, but I probably won't hear you because it's loud with the shop vac on. You'll be okay, you'll be upstairs with the TV. You can cry, and I probably won't hear you because it's loud with the shop vac on. Grocery store. I bought a mower. I can ride around the yard, but we haven't got real friends. And now even the fake ones have stopped calling. Maybe if you forget to hide the keys, I'll take a ride to Applebee's. I'll come home drunk on daiquiris and throw up on the neighbor's lawn. I'll be downstairs with the shop vac. You can call, but I probably won't hear you because it's loud with the shop vac on. You'll be okay. You'll be upstairs with the TV. You can cry, and I probably won't hear you because it's loud with the shop vac on. I like the Starbucks here. That's better than the other one. Yes, uh, you must be Laurie Ann. You're right, your hairline is just like Roma Downey's. <gasps> yes, and just as you said you'd be, you're wearing your University, University of Michigan, Michigan turtleneck. I just went ahead and sat here, but I don't have to. I'd be happy to switch. Oh, no, no, I like to be able to look in and see the kitchen. Oh, okay. So, uh, I guess our profiles matched up. I guess we're about to see who was honest. This is such a great idea. They have so many of these services for dating, and yet this is the first one I encountered for meeting quality friends. Well, as they say, it's, it's just, just lunch. lunch. Well, in, in our case, it's just a late lunch. Well, actually, my company is headquartered in Cleveland, and sometimes with a three-hour time difference, it can result in late lunches. Oh, oh no, there's really no need to apologize. I generally keep some almonds in my purse for snacking. Oh, did you know that Argentina is the biggest exporter of almonds? Oh, that actually reminds me of a funny story I had wanted to tell you. I thought I saw Meg Ryan on my way over here. Then she turned around, and it turns out it wasn't Meg Ryan. But it really looked a lot like her. Oh, close one. Yes. So, tell me more about your work, Lorianne. That sounds interesting. Interesting, I don't know, but important, yes. Uh, I'm an account manager for a collegiate licensing company, so basically any college keychain, sweatshirt, or boxer short has been conceptualized and registered through us. Oh. I imagine there's a lot of colleges. Quite.